guys, I am super excited for this month's challenge. So before we get into the details of that, I want to kind of go over the health bet and some things you need to do for that. If you were in the health bet, okay, first things first, if you logged five Shakeologies a week from Monday to Sunday and three workouts a week, you will qualify for the big pot that Beachbody had, okay? You will be getting an email in the next, I think it's about two weeks, so watch out for that. If for some reason it says you were disqualified and you feel like you were not disqualified and you had you know, done all the requirements, PM me and we can figure it out. They usually have a form that you can like appeal, if you will. So be on the lookout for the email saying you qualified. You will be receiving a check in the mail to the address you have on file with Beachbody. So you need to log in to teambeachbody.com and make sure under your account um, that you have your address in there, okay? If you are set up as a discount coach or have since converted to becoming an active coach during the health bet, you will be getting it in your commissions check, which will go directly to your EFT if you have that filled out. So. If you're like, I have no idea what I am. If you receive a discount on Shakeology, you're a discount coach. If you're not set up to get the discount on Shakeology, you're just a customer, they will email, or not, not email you, they will mail you a check to the address on file. If you are an active business building coach or have since converted over to wanting to be an active coach, um, basically if you're a coach at all, discount or working it, they will send it to um, your EFT that you have on file or a check if you have that selected. So what I recommend you do for that so you could get it faster is if you're a coach, log into teambeachbody.com. If you're a discount coach, same thing, okay? Log into teambeachbody.com. You're gonna click on coach, coach online office, and then it's gonna pop up a screen. There's gonna be a bunch of different tabs at the top. Click on my business tab, scroll all the way to the bottom, my EFT management, put in your EFT information there. They will deposit the check. That I think was it, it in a couple weeks where the check mailed is like six to eight weeks. So if you want your check faster and you're a discount coach, meaning you're just simply taking advantage of the discount of 25% off Shakeology and all the other stuff, go in and set up your EFT so you can get paid automatically to your bank account within a couple weeks, okay? I think that wraps up for the health bet. But I want you guys to know how proud I am of you guys. You guys have seriously been amazing. Like, I've never had a group so active. And I think the daily check-ins really do help because it keeps you checking in and staying consistent whether you had a perfect day or not. Because I don't want you guys to go MIA just because you had a bad day or a bad week, okay? That's not the point of this. The point is to make a healthy lifestyle. We're going to have bad days. We're going to have bad weeks, whatever. But I want you guys to always feel like you can get back on your feet and go again. So I'm so proud of you guys for checking in every single day. It was amazing. Seriously, the turnout we had was amazing. Okay, now for a new group that's starting. How this works is I do quarterly groups, meaning in the app you'll notice that it's like on day 37 or 38 or something like that. That's because I set this challenge from January to the end of March. My next group will be from April 1st to the end of June and so on. So I don't have to roll you guys from one challenge to the next to the next. It makes it a lot easier to only have to roll you guys four times a year versus 12 times a year. So each month, we're gonna have a different personal development book. So if you're just starting brand new, welcome to the group. It will continue to roll over just month to month, okay? So each month will have a theme, but the group will not start over. That only starts over quarterly, if that makes sense. So you who are here January for the health bet, you're still here, which means please join us. And this next topic, oh, I'm super excited for, okay? This is something I wanna do for a while. I'm finally doing it. The topic is going to be his needs, her needs, okay? This is a book that is absolutely amazing. It makes everything make sense when you're trying to figure out how to love your spouse and how to feel love and all of that. It breaks all of that down for us and it tells us our 10 emotional needs that we need as human beings. And um, he found, he's a marriage therapist, he found in his counseling with marriage couples that or married couples that there were five emotional needs usually for men and five the opposite for the women. And so he talks about that and there's um, just a ton of valuable information in it. And so that is the PD book for this month. It's called His Needs, Her Needs, How to Build an Affair-Proof Marriage. Okay, go look it up, get it on Audible. You can buy it on Amazon paperback, whatever you want. 
go buy it like ASAP. That's what we're going to be reading. That's the theme for the month. And how this is going to work is each Monday, I'm going to give you guys a challenge to complete during that week based on whatever need we're focusing on for that week, okay? Most of us are women in here. There are a few dudes, which I love. So because we are majority women, we are going to be focusing on helping meet our husband's needs, okay? So I will address the women's needs, but mainly I want you guys to be focusing on your husband's needs. Now, there is going to be a quiz I'm going to provide provide the link for. I want you guys to do that with your spouse so that you know what his top ranked love languages, emotional needs, whatever you want to call them, are. And then you'll know what your top emotional needs are as well. Um, but this challenge, I want you to focus on being a better spouse for your husband or for your wife, for the couple dudes we have in here, okay? I don't want you focusing on, he's not meeting my needs, I feel so neglected, I don't care, <laughs> okay? This month is us being better emotionally, physically, mentally, as a person. That's what we're working on with eating right and exercising and reading personal development. But I want you to focus really, really hard on loving your spouse. You being the person to make the change, especially if you're in a rut, it can be really hard because both of you have probably built up some pretty gnarly walls um, and it's hard to be selfless and it's hard to be humble, um, but I'm asking you to do that, okay? So this month, I want you to focus on you becoming better, you becoming more, and you loving your spouse in the way he needs to be loved, even if you don't feel like it, okay? I understand that's gonna be hard, but trust me, we've been there. You guys have probably seen my marriage webinar. That's probably where a lot of you are coming from that are new to this group. We've been there. And I can tell you that you have to be humble enough to love your spouse in the language he needs to be loved in order for it to come back to you. And the book explains that as well. But for this challenge, like I said, we are focusing on our husband's needs. Um, and I will do like a little blurb for the men in the group so they can love their spouse, their women, um, the way they need to be loved. But we're mainly focusing on the men, okay? Because we're like 99% women in here. So we are going to take one emotional need per week. So this challenge is going to be a little bit longer. It's going to be five weeks, okay? Because there's five top emotional needs of men usually. And so we're just going to go in order of those. And we are going to do one topic a week. And I'm going to have a challenge for you to complete each week. Um, that has to do with the book, okay? So that's kind of how the book part is going to play into the theme is um, my PD post in the morning will have to do with this book and that specific emotional need. Um, and then on Mondays, we have a specific challenge each week for you to complete that has to do with that emotional need, okay? Now, as far as the regular challenge group, this is mainly for the newbies who are just coming in and don't even know what's going on. I'm going to explain how this challenge group works, okay? You all got the All Access On Demand Challenge Pack, okay? That is the best package ever because it gives you every single program that Beachbody has ever made. Most people start out with 21 Day Fix, and I usually recommend that for a few reasons. Um, the workouts are super versatile, meaning you get cardio resistance, Pilates, and yoga. They're only 30 minutes long. They're a different workout every single day of the week, so you don't get burned out and feel like you're doing the same workout over and over again. And it's three weeks long, meaning a lot of people can go, okay, I can do this for three weeks versus two months, okay? Eight weeks is a long time, especially if you're just starting to really stick to a program completely. So I want you to focus on three weeks do 21 days as best you can, sticking to the meal plan, sticking to the container count, sticking to your Shakeology, sticking to your workouts, okay? So I want you to focus on 21 days. So I recommend starting with 21 Day Fix. If for some reason that's just not jiving with you, go ahead and pick another program, but I still want you to focus on 21 days. Absolutely perfect, okay? Three weeks is doable. You can take a week off at the end, and you can have like, um, this is actually what I recommend for all challengers now. Um, you've just completed a good four weeks for my past challengers. I recommend you take a week off. And by week off, I'm not saying go like super crazy um, and eat whatever you want. I'm saying stick to the weight loss bracket of your meal plan, but have a cheat meal, have a treat, you know, throughout the week. 
do not binge, okay? This is why I recommend doing three weeks on one week off is it prevents wanting to binge. It prevents feeling like you're deprived of ever having treats again or your favorite meal that you miss. I want you to enjoy that after you've done three weeks perfect, do one week off, jump back in, do three weeks perfect, one week off, three weeks perfect, one week off. And the reason that's okay is because if you're still sticking to the, the meal plan, um, at the weight loss bracket and you add in a treat or a cheat meal, that's going to put you on maintenance mode for the week. Okay. That's not going to throw you backwards and just like throw away all the results you've just created. It's going to maintain you for a week and then you can jump back in and do the weight loss, um, bracket. Super perfect. You'll lose more weight for three more weeks, one week off, three weeks on one week off. And that's what I did to lose 40 pounds in six months. I could have lost it in four months, but Honestly, I knew I would binge and I'd totally revert and not make this lifestyle change. So I still kind of live by that motto. I'm on maintenance now, so I actually get to do that all the time. But if I feel really gross, I try and tighten it back up again. Three weeks on, one week off, three, so on and so on, okay? So I'm going to recommend that to all of you. My past challengers and my new challengers, do three weeks as best you can and then take a week off. A lot of you just ordered on Thursday or Friday, so you're probably not going to have your kits yet that's okay too. So just start checking in and I'm going to explain that. But as soon as your, your kit comes, you'll be able to read through your nutritional plan. Please do that. Read through it and actually see the food list and what container bracket you're on and all of that. Read through it, get your meal plan set up. And if it comes on Thursday of this week, you can jump right in or you can wait till next Monday. Not a big deal. But I want you to start working out right now and I want you to um, be checking in every day and I'm going to explain that. But I don't want you to like be stressed out and think, oh, I can't start tomorrow, so I'm just going to throw it away, all the way. Don't do that, okay? Just start when you can. Um, yeah. Make sure you're drinking your Shakeology. You can start that as soon as possible. I'm going to talk about that for a second real quick, okay? If you are brand new to this, chances are your gut is going to be major out of whack. That's normal, especially with our diet that we eat nowadays. It's not balanced. There's a lot of preservatives and a lot of crap in our food that really destroys our gut. And so when you start drinking Shakeology, you can experience discomfort just know that that's normal and it's actually a sign that your gut needs balancing, not that Shakeology is bad for you. What it's doing is it's actually killing off all the bad bacteria and the yeast in your gut um, and it's basically fighting for space because we're adding all of this good bacteria in with the prebiotics and probiotics and so it literally is fighting for space and it's killing off all of that stuff so it can cause bloating, constipation, diarrhea in some people. Um, so just understand that that's a sign that it's actually a good thing. It's actually adjusting your gut, which will help your immune system. It helps your mental health and everything. So you kind of have to make it through the suck, okay? What I do recommend if you do experience discomfort, go to a half a scoop a day. And if you don't have any discomfort, a half a scoop, slowly add more each day until you're up to a full scoop. And then you'll be good to go, okay? That's my tidbit on Shakeology. Um, start there. As soon as you get your stuff, start doing your Shakeology, start doing your workouts now, and then as soon as your meal plan comes, try and get that in order and at least start by next Monday. Make next Monday the last day you can start doing the meal plan, okay? Okay, now how this group actually works with check-ins and all of that. You've probably noticed in the app that you can log your workouts, you can log your Shakeology, your weight, your measurements, your picks, all of that. Please do all of that. Do your measurements, your picks, and um, your weight because all three of those give you an accurate picture of what's happening to your body. Weight alone is dumb. I hate the scale. I will ask you only weigh yourself like once a month, especially if you get fixated on the scale. The scale is really, really dumb, especially as you're working out. You're going to build muscle, which means that you're going to replace the fat lost on the scale with muscle mass on the scale, and it may look like the scale's not moving when it actually you're burning fat and building muscle at the same time. So don't get fixated on the scale. You need to take pictures because pictures tell way more than the scale would, and measurements also mean a lot because every inch you lose is equivalent to one pound of fat. That's a lot. So if you're losing 15 inches but the scale only said 5 pounds, you've actually lost 15 pounds of fat and the difference is made up in muscle. Okay? So make sure you're doing all three of those. Put them in the tracker. Every day, log your workout, log your shake. But every morning, I'm going to have some sort of motivational um, personal development quote that has to do with the His Needs, Her Needs book. Check in on that. I usually ask some sort of question. Please comment on that um, just so I know you're seeing it and you're really trying to, to change your mentality in this. And then every afternoon at 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, I post a daily check-in. And this daily check-in will have questions that you need to answer. It's not about being perfect. It's not about um, 
not, never cheating or having a bad day. It's about just building that consistency and that habit, okay? So every afternoon, check in on that post. And if you check in every single day, Monday through Sunday, I do a challenger leaderboard on Monday mornings, shouting out everybody and all of the days that they checked in on these posts in the afternoon that I do. And I send out a weekly prize for everybody who checks in every week. I will also send you a monthly prize if you've checked in for four weeks straight, which all these new or these old challengers have just done. They will get a bigger prize that's a monthly prize just for checking in every day. And then everybody who checks in for an entire quarter, this is also why I do my quarterly groups, everybody who checks in for an entire quarter will get a huge, like a bigger prize, like a bigger prize, <laughs> okay? And then I also have... I'm going to be doing a drawing for a big, big prize for everybody who had a perfect quarter. So I'm trying to get you guys into the habit of consistency, checking in, having that accountability, and then also rewarding you for just being consistent, not necessarily saying you have to have these results or else you're failing because that's not true. I want you guys to make this a lifestyle. So that's how the group works. Every day, log your workout, log your Shakeology, and check in on my personal development post in the morning and also in the afternoon when I have that check-in post. When I post that check-in post, you have until 12 p.m., wow, 12 a.m., your time, whatever your time zone is, to log that check-in for it to count for the weekly prizes, okay? So that's how the group works. Go and buy the book, His Needs, Her Needs, download it. I'm seriously super excited because it's gonna blow your guys' mind. Like, the first 10 minutes of the book, I was like, oh my gosh, this would have saved so much if I just would have known. Um, like, seriously, I was bombing it. <laughs> I was not, not meeting my husband's needs, okay? Um, and so it'll be really good for you to be aware of what your husband's needs are. And so you can actually love him in the way he needs to be loved. And then when you're doing that and you're bettering yourself physically and mentally, dude, it changes your life. So this is what I did when I was at our lowest point and I started coaching. The challenge group and the personal development changed my life. So I'm super excited for this. Okay, go get it. Comment below when you've seen this and when you've told me, like, tell me if you're um, downloading the book on Audible or if you're buying it so that I know that you're listening and that you're going to do it with us, okay? It kicks off tomorrow morning with our first challenge. So I will see you guys tomorrow.